Hi everyone, welcome to Nuli Banzai. These two ficus need a little quick update before the bald cypress video since they're back button. I gave these guys a quick partial pruning last video or a couple of videos ago. And now they're back button so we can cut the, off those leaves now. Because now the energy will be distributed evenly through the buds or to the tips of the buds and they'll grow faster. And these two bonsais are inside of a tote that has a little bit of water down in the bottom just to create a humid microenvironment to promote more roots and those thicker roots or those aerial roots that are on the rocks and on the driftwood will harden up a little bit and maybe get some more ramification on them. First, I want to say thank you guys for watching my videos and a special thank you to the subscribers for subbing to my channel, even though my channel doesn't have high quality videos. I'm definitely working on it. I ordered a camera. It should be here soon. But this tree here, I got this tree at a nursery in Citrus County, Florida. It's a little further up north from where I live. The owner of this nursery is about 94 years old yes he was 94 years old and this man was still caring for the nursery all of the trees in that nursery were basically light poles and straight logs but this one had a nice base on it when I walked up to the pot I could see that some of the soil was washed away and it showed the base so I chose that one we cut the top off and I fit it inside my car. I brought it home. There wasn't much to the tree when I got home. There wasn't any lower branches or anything. So all I did was get home, tree out of the pot. I rinsed away the soil and I flat bottomed the root base with a sawzall, which looked really, really good. I can't wait to get it out of the pot and check out the roots and see what it's like. I'm not doing much to this tree today. I just need these branches to grow laterally before they harden off because this year with the growth, I'm pretty sure that the branches will harden off and keep that shape. And I don't want the shape that it has at the moment. Even though a lot of these branches are gonna end up getting cut off, the apex it has at the moment is not going to be the one it has in the future. I'm going to end up cutting it down and giving it a little bit more movement than it has at the moment. Because the base has a little bit of curvature to it. And then where I, where I cut the top of the tree has an angle. So it kind of brings the movement of the tree over to the right, then the left. So I can bring the apex back over towards the right a little bit give it a little bit of movement but it's just a thought i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i kind of always let my trees direct me and tell me where they want to go i don't try to force my trees i used to do that and i lost a few trees that way this is my parrot rock she's adorable i don't know who's more attached me to her or her to me but i love this bird she was given to us. I taught her the Andy Griffith whistle song, but she got lazy and she only whistles a small part of it now, but it's pretty funny. I've been trying to find ways of recording my birds and dogs. It's kind of tough, but oh, maybe I'll find a way. I anchored the branches on a couple of roots that I cut during the first repot. I'm gonna gin them during the next repot. And these few branches up top, I just wired them as you would normally wire any other branch. I plan on making a ferocement pond in my backyard for my nephew's goldfish. He won it at a carnival and it's getting pretty big. From what I understand, they grow to 22 inches or bigger. So I'm gonna make a pond and I plan on putting this cypress in the middle of it. 
but I'll do that after it gets repotted into a mica pot at least. I don't know if this is the best way to bring those branches down, but it seemed the easiest to me. And those wires, I'll use them in the future to wire those branches, whichever ones I'm gonna keep. The substrate has a colony of ants in it, so I waited till I got done so I could dust the trunk with diatomaceous earth and I added some to the substrate. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, I added some. <laughs> I really do think I got lucky with this tree. It's, it's been fun. It's been fun. Whatever branches haven't been tied down are sacrifice branches. I want to show you how silly and funny my bird rock is. This bird, everyone tells me that she's in love with me. I think I'm in love with her. Feelings mutual. But yeah, she she hugs my face with her wings and she covers my eyes and she tries to feed me. She's great. I'm trying to show you guys the tree, but she crawling all over my head. Silly bird. I hope you guys liked the video. I decided to do a voiceover on this one to step it up a notch. And I'll keep on stepping it up a little bit as I get better. I hope you guys see the growth and if you like the video, why don't you give me a like and a subscribe? I really appreciate it. It motivates me to give more content and to think of more things for you guys. Oh, check out Nigel Saunders, the bonsai zone. It's pretty cool. I really appreciate it, guys. Bye.